Hi everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on how to import my Minecart Rapid Transit Station into your own Minecraft world using MC Edit. So here we are in Minecraft. Uh, this is my main world. This is the same world that has the uh, my city and my Brawn Llama Dome, and those two are located in this direction, toward the north. Now what I'm doing here is I'm building the new uh, MRT blue line toward, toward the south, toward where we are. You can see it there, and I'm going to be propo I'm proposing to build a station uh, right around here, and that station will be the basis for this tutorial. So yeah, let's uh, exit Minecraft and uh, open up MC Edit. Alright, uh, here we are on my glorious desktop. I've closed out Minecraft and I'll let's open MC Edit by double clicking this icon here. Alright, so the first thing you'll notice is MC Edit is warning you to close Minecraft before you start filling around with MC Edit. Uh, basically, you should never have Minecraft and MC Edit running at the same time and accessing the same save files because that could lead to those save files being corrupted. So just make sure you do that. Uh, I'm going to acknowledge this error message and maximize this window so it's better to see. Uh, when you first open MC Edit, you'll see this screen here. To open up a save file, just click the Open a Level. You'll be this is the folder where you have all your save files. Uh, so select the folder that has the name of your save file. In this case, my main world is named Trevallion. And uh, open up the level.dat file that you see in there. All right, so here we are in MC Edit. Uh, so I won't go. I'll go over the simple controls, but you sh if you're not familiar with MC Edit, you should uh, go see some of the YouTube videos on there that uh, goes over the basic controls and uh, that sort of thing. But I'll go over it quickly here. Uh, to move your view around the world, you use the WASD keys to move laterally, and to move up and down, use the Q and Z keys. To rotate your view. Uh, use the right mouse button, either holding it or just clicking it once. It'll change a mode that you'll need to be familiar with. But holding down the mouse, right mouse button allows you to rotate your view. So let's get a better look on our location here. So there's a tra track going up down that way. And the station is going to be somewhere around here. So, uh, so yeah, I'll go over a little bit of things. Um, when you're Choosing a location for your station, make sure you can you think that you think it's a pretty good place that'll be easily accessible by other people. So, uh, what I'm planning to do is put the station here. Uh, there'll be one entrance that'll go down onto the beach, hopefully, and the other entrance will go outward toward uh, this forested area here, which will probably cut down some of those trees in a bit here. So let let's start importing. Uh, select the import tool on the bottom on your toolbar down here. Uh, you'll be going to schematics folder. Just look for your schematics. This is my. These are the 2.1 schematics I have downloaded. Uh, so, uh, first thing you'll need to choose is which orientation is your station in, either north south or east west. In this case, we're building a north south station. So open up the south folder, and you'll have uh, even more choices here. You can have two. There are two different two different choices you can choose here. Uh, there's elevated or underground station and there's another choice where you can have a side platform or center platform station. Uh, so in this case we're definitely above ground so we're going to build an elevated station and since the tracks here are close together in this sort of formation we're going to go with a side platform station. So in this case we want a station elevated side south 2.1 schematic. Open that up so there's our schematic there. Um, it's a bit when you we first need to click on it to put it in an initial location, but we can always move it around. I'll show you that in a moment. So I'm gonna put it a little bit below here, and then now to put it in to fine tune the location of the schematic, use the nudge tool over here. What you need to do is click and hold the nudge area, and then use the Q A S D and W, Z keys, to uh, push the schematic into where you'd like. So I'm going to move it up here. Make it a bit higher. Okay. So it looks like it's lined up there. I'm going to 
to also check to see check this side to see where that entrance going. I think I'm going to move it. Hmm. I'm going to move it a bit toward this way a bit more. Okay. And I'm also going to make sure that there are torches every uh, four uh, squares in my uh, track here. So I'm going to make sure the station is also aligned with that. So I'll move it up a bit more. So one, two, three, four. Good. All right. So I think we're ready to import. Uh, to import, just hit the import button. And there it is. All right. So at this point, that's all you really need to do. Um, because all of the redstone circuitry and minecart mechanics are all included in the main uh, schematic that I've just imported, but there are also but there's also lots of other th extra things that we can do like entrances, pillars, and colors, which I'll go over at this point. But at this point, um, you could just do just leave it at that and do what you want. So I'm going to deselect this uh, selection by going Control D. Then let's start putting some entrances in. I'm going to start with this one here on this on the land side. Now, unfortunately, the trees are obfuscating my view here, but you can see right there. There's the entrance of the station, well, the porthole. But I want to build some stairs down to the ground so people can access it, and also at the same time clear out these trees. So let's import the entrance schematic. You may have seen my 2.1 video where there's several different schematics we can use. In this case, we're using the side platform outward and schematic. It's this one here. And also, you'll probably have to rotate the schematic since it may not uh, uh, be aligned with well, your station here. So to do that, hold, push the E key. I don't have to push it once there. And then uh, click it somewhere and then use the nudge tool to align it the station. I think that looks good. Just kind of make sure. Actually, I don't think it's... Nope, I think I need to do it a bit more here. It's a bit hard to see. I'm going to... Yeah, those torches are lined up. I think we're good. So, I'm going to import it. So there's our entrance. Unfortunately, it goes right into trees, and there's trees every all these other trees everywhere. So, to do this, we're going to clear out some of this foliage. I'm going to use a selection tool to select a block right in front of this entrance. And then again, you'll see on the bottom of my screen here, there's these nudge keys here, just like the other nudge. You can nudge the uh, size of this box, the corners of the box, so you can. Uh, Select what you want. Pretty much, well, let me just see here. Is that enough? Yeah, we can't really get that. I don't want to get the sign. So, to delete this uh, selection, it'll push simply push the delete key. And there we go. So yeah, there's still some foliage there. I don't not going to worry too much about that. We can clean up that later. But also, the entrance is sort of floating in the air. I'm, I'm going to fill this part in with dirt later on. But not right now, but uh, eventually. Uh, but yeah, we'll need that so people can actually get up there. All right, so that's one entrance down. Let's do the other side. And we want to build the entrance from here down toward that beach down there. So uh, we're going to use the forward entrance, I think forward facing entrance. And again, you'll have to rotate it using the E key. There we go. And then I'll just put it there for now and then nudge it into position. Put it there. Make sure this is all okay. Yep. All right. Import. <coughs> all right, so that was much simpler. Um, but I'm going to have to put, build some sort of platform up to maybe another dirt bridge. Or, if you want, you can also extend the actual entrance itself so that it looks like the stations are being extended using, s basically, uh, destroy these doors and then use stone and glass to make a, s a 
uh, sort of extended entrance all the way down to the ground level here. It's <coughs> sorry, it's your choice really. Uh, the entrance is just a template, so you can the starting starting point, so you can change the entrances as much as you'd like to whatever fits your needs of your station, depending on its location or whatnot. So that's the entrances. I'll deal. With, I'll fill in the dirt hole and all that stuff later when I'm in Minecraft itself. Uh, the next thing we can do is add some pillars to the bottom of the station because it kind of looks weird floating out in the middle of the open here. To do that, I've included a special pillar schematic that you can use. And it already has torches on it. And you can use this on the f to define the corners of your station here. So I'm going to put it somewhere right there. <coughs> now to place to do this, place your pillar schematic, the first part, on the very bottom here. Make sure it's aligned. Then import it. Now you can use now you can use the clone tool to copy that that portion of the pillar downwards into the air, into the ground. So I'm going to use the nudge key and then just hold, push the Z key to make a copy one copy down. Now you can also there's also a repeat option here so you can copy it several times. So I'm going to copy it about say three times I think that's yep three times <coughs> above the water and then clone and that's good. Now uh, you'll notice that I didn't go all the way down to the water because it's also copying the air and we don't want to copy air over the water otherwise the ocean will start flooding into the, the air pockets and that's not doesn't look very good. So I'm going to move down my selection and then just select the actual stone portion uh, excluding the torches and the air and then continue the cloning process downward. So down two and then we'll go all the way down to that sand down there. So maybe three more copies, two more copies? Yeah, three more copies. Alright, and clone. And there you are. That's a pillar. And I'm gonna. All right, so I'm gonna start making the other pillars here, and uh, come back a little later.